Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did for his. I'm sorry if I don't seem appealing as of right now, I just got back from, um, walking a few blocks and... I just figured that I should make my next footage right now, because I'm not entirely sure if a traditional footage and a live broadcast is one and the same, or just two different things. Just in case, I decided to make this footage so that way I wouldn't feel desperate or anything. And I hope that I am making these work on your guys' behalf and such, and I apologize in advance. Just in case it doesn't, you know? For this particular footage, I'm going to introduce three characters. A hero, a villain, and a creature, as far as I know. And if you guys bear with me, I'll introduce three characters to you. And I'll try to make things work. Just bear with me, okay? Here's the first one. Nasal. Real name, Natalie Scotts. Height? 5 feet 10 inches, weight 144 pounds, status villain, and five senses member. The five senses being a an anti-hero team where all the members have something to do with the five senses. Base, the untrusted dimension, mobile. Intelligence, three brains, meaning traditional average intelligence, just slightly smarter than usual, just slightly. Behavior. Moody and cautious. She'll do anything to defeat her innocent counterpart and all of her trusted allies. Lethality. Only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses. She loses control whenever she sneezes. Powers. She has the same powers as Nazdro, along with utter ruthlessness. And just so you know, Nazdril has nasal-based capabilities, all of which happen to do with the nose. Eyes, light blue. Hair, brownish gold and wavy. Origin. In the untrusted dimension, the native Nazdril is rather a chaotic version of her, known simply as Nasal. One day, the five senses travel to the untrusted dimension to help with a problem involving dark dentistry the evil counterpart of Dentistry, and when Nasal tried to stop them, she realized that her older sisters, Vision and Scream, had also been forced to join them, much to her disgust. After she was eventually betrayed by Dark Dentistry, Nasal found that she had no choice but to get help from her sisters, thus becoming a new member of the Five Senses. But that doesn't mean she would give up on her plans of mutiny. Costume. She simply wears nothing official, nothing in particular, just whatever she feels like wearing. Teams, solitary, or with other villains. Forge inspiration, Nazdril. I hope that's comprehensible for you guys. I'm trying to make sure I don't seem desperate or anything, and I apologize if so. Here's the next one, the creature. Octocondodon. Real name, inapplicable. Length, 1,000 feet. Weight, unrevealed. Status, villain. And creation of Dr. Scream. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, savage, destructive, and relentless. It always enjoys spreading chaos. Lethality, only when craving or during a fight. Weaknesses, explosions, electricity, and amputations. Powers. It has the head and fins of a shark, the body of an anaconda, and the tentacles of an octopus with a pair of venomous spikes on each tentacle. It also possesses all the powers of all three organisms. Eyes deep black, hair none. Origin. One time, Dr. Scrape decided that she would create a new creature that's simply a three-way cross between a shark, an anaconda, and an octopus. Be named the Octocondodon. 
It was commanded by its creator to swim out into space and travel to the planet of Urphalagon, where it started obliterating the local capital of Hybrid City. Eventually, a visiting Foxzilla arrived and killed the monster, monster after a long and tiring fight. Upset of this defeat, Dr. Scream chose to resurrect the predatory Octocondodon for future use. Costume? None. Teams? Solitary? For Dr. Scream and other creatures. Original inspiration? Anacondas and the Sharktopus. I hope that's comprehensible for you guys, second mention. And this is the last character, which is very crucial, if you think about it. I hope you could bear with me. Patriot. Real name, Samantha Rogers. Height and weight varied. Status hero in American symbol. Base, USA Alpha Earth. Mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, witty, willful, and somewhat warlike. She'll do anything to defend and honor her sacred country. Lethality, only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, being rivaled and thoughts of failure. Powers, she has great strength, mass alteration, inhuman durability, and can project liberty beams from her eyes. She also has an iron will. Eyes, sky blue. Hair, blonde and flowy. Origin. Samantha Rogers was an average woman who wanted to be trusted by others. One day, she was transported by portal to the age of World War II, along with developing unique powers in the process. While there, Samantha was successful with helping the Allied forces with their problems, earning the name Patriot. Eventually, she learned about the towering evil cyborg known only as Nazi, and after finally defeating the villain in a fight, Patriot was marked as one of the greatest heroes in American history. When she was transported back to the present day by portal, Samantha learned that Nazi was seeking revenge on the USA. Since then, Patriot would do anything to fully keep the Axis powers from getting recovered from their intended absence, among other threats. Costume. She wears a latex leotard made to look like the U.S. flag. Teams. Solitary or with other heroes. Original inspiration. American patriotism. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and such. And if you guys want... If you want me to uh, give you a heads up of each, um, like, upcoming, like, um, upcoming, cre like, creations in future videos and such, you could ask me if you want, and I'll try all that I can to get the message across for you guys. And, uh, if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. Thank you for everyone helping me out with the sequence so far. And I hope that this is going to be a boost of necessity and such. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the month and the rest of the year. And until next time, in transmission.